assalamu alaikum in today's video we will discuss definite integral so what is definite integral a definite integral has start and end value in other words there is an integral a b a and b called limit bounds or boundaries are put at the bottom and top of the integration symbol like this look at to the figure integration from a to b f of x dx means definite integral from a to b how to calculate the definite integral first we find the definite integral by calculating the end definite integral at a and at b then subtracting for example what is an integral of limit from 1 to 2 2x now look at to the graph y is equal to 2x the shaded portion show the area bounded from the limit 1 to 2 so first we need to find the end definite integral means integration of 2x dx which is equal to by using the power rule x square plus c now to calculate that at 1 and 2 at x is equal to 1 so the given integ integral 2x dx is equal to 1 square plus c which is equal to 1 plus c now at x is equal to 2 and the given integral becomes 2 square plus c means 4 plus c now subtract both the result at x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2 we get 4 plus c minus 1 plus c which is equal to 3 C C cancel four minus one, which is equal to three, means the definite integral of the limit one to two two x, which is equal to three. We can write the end definite integral without the plus C inside the square bracket, but the limit a and b after like this, integral from one to two two x dx is equal to by using power rule, which is equal to x square, and limit from one to two. Now put the value. We get the result: two square minus one square means four minus one, which is equal to three. Look at the question. Evaluate the definite integral from one to six. Twelve x cube minus nine x square plus two whole dx. By using power rule, we can write three x power four minus three x cube plus two x. And limit from one to six. Now put the limit. Three into six power four minus three into x cube means six cube plus two into six minus three into one power four minus three into one power three plus two into one. After simplifying, we get the result three thousand two fifty two minus two, which is equal to three thousand two fifty. The next question is evaluate the definite integral from zero to pi by two seven sine t minus two cos t dt. As we have integration of sine t which is equal to minus cos t and integration of cos t which is equal to sine t. So seven sine t we can write minus seven cos t minus two as it is integration of cos t which is equal to sine t. And limit zero to pi by two. Now put the given limit, so we can write minus seven cos pi by two minus two sine pi by two minus minus seven cos zero minus two sine zero. After simplifying, we get the result minus seven into zero. Because cos pi by two means cos ninety, which is equal to zero, minus two sine pi by two, sine ninety, which is equal to one, minus seven, and cos zero, which is equal to one, seven into one, minus two, as it is, sine zero, which is equal to zero. After simplifying, we can write minus two, minus into minus plus seven, so minus two plus seven, which is equal to five. The next question is evaluate the definite integral 
from 0 to 1 e power x plus 1 over 1 plus x square dx. As we know that integration of 1 over 1 plus x square dx which is equal to tangent inverse x plus c and the integration of e power x which is equal to e power x. So we can write e power x plus tangent inverse of x and limit 0 to 1. Put the given limits. So we have e power 1 plus tangent inverse of 1 minus and e power 0 plus tangent inverse of 0 e power 1 which is equal to e tangent inverse of 1 which is equal to pi by 4 minus e power 0 which is equal to 1 and tangent inverse of 0 which is equal to 0 so e plus pi by 4 minus 1 the next question is evaluate the definite integral from 4 to 9 2x plus 3 into square root x dx by using power rule x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c so we get the result x square plus 2x power 3 by 2 limit 4 to 9 now put the given limit we can write 9 square plus 2 into 9 power 3 by 2 minus 4 square plus 2 into 4 power 3 by 2 after simplifying we get the result 135 minus 32 which is equal to 103.